Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So, today is probably my most requested video, like, hands down. Um, and that's how I style my curly hair. I bet you probably didn't see, like think I was going to be starting the video like this, but it's just a little bit easier. So, I thought I'd show you my current products that I'm using to style my hair. Um, and I kind of use them interchangeably. I mix them. It kind of depends on what my plans are for the day, what kind of hold I want, what kind of curl I want. You know, a whole bunch of different things go into it. So my staple piece right now is my Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. So I've used her Pillow Soft Curls as well, um, and I just wanted to try this one out just to kind of see what it was all about. So I use this one kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, and I mix in the other two accordingly. Um, so I really like this gel because it does not make my hair like crunchy, gross, top ramen, you know, like early 2000s hair. So I'll only take just a little tiny bit in my hand and I am all about that scrunch game. So I'm not, I don't have a real method to my, to this, um, honestly, but once I detangle my hair and I get out of the shower, I wrap it up in just like an old t-shirt and I do not brush it again after. Repeat, I do not brush my hair after I get out of the shower okay like that it ruins my curl pattern um it kind of disturbs what it naturally wants to do and so I just leave it alone and that's how I find that I get the best curls and so I'll take a little bit on each side of my hair and just kind of scrunch it upward And that's kind of like the base. Like when I do the bare minimum, like that is, that's how I do my hair. Um, I make sure it's really detangled. When it's wet in the shower, I do run my fingers through it to kind of at least give my curls some definition. Because sometimes if I let them dry completely detangled and like smooth, I get these big poofy like roundish type curls. I mean, if that's your thing, that's kind of how I get them. Um, but this is how I normally do it. And normal, and some days I just leave it like this um, and like just go about my day. A more soft hold product is gonna be my Diva Curl Super Cream. This is a really, um, this is like a highly used product. A lot of curly girls use this. It was my go-to honestly until I found the Jelly Soft Curls because I really like the hold that, that gives me. This sometimes I feel like is a little bit heavy now on my hair. Um, a little bit about my hair type it is I have really fine hair. I just have a ton of hair. So when it puffs up, it looks like it's like, whoa, she has really thick hair. Eh, not really. I just have a lot of hair. It's just really fine. So I find that with this one, my hair does look a little bit more moisturized um, because it is a cream base. And I think it's a, yeah, it's the Coconut Curl Styler. So it does have, you know, that sought after coconut next to the name, but if I'm being 100% honest, oh wait, no, it does. It says, the rich coconut oil infused styler gives you total freedom to express yourself with your curls. So, I guess it does have some coconut oil in it, but I mean, how much? Not a lot. Oh wait, well, I know that when you read the ingredients on things, the higher up it is in the ingredient list, the more it has in it. And this is the one, two, it's the third ingredient in the styler. So that's probably why my hair looks so moisturized with it because it has a decent amount of coconut oil in it. So that's a win. And I mean, I'll probably go into like my damaged hair care a little bit later, like in like a blonde hair care video, but for now, this is a good styler if you want something a little bit more moisturizing. Be careful though if you have fine hair because if you use way too much, it's going to completely weigh your hair down. So how I use this most days is I will do my jelly soft curls and then I'll put this on top of it or vice versa. It doesn't really matter, I guess, in my opinion. And today I'm really only gonna use one pump throughout my whole hair. Um, and this one I tend to use a little bit more on like the inside, back inside of my hair, and on the ends to kind of fight the dryness throughout the day, especially because it's been so effing hot here. It's been so hot here. 
and I'm so uncomfortable. It's dreadful. So I try not to also put too much product by my roots again because it like weighs it down, which we all want big voluminous hair. That's just how curly hair is. Even with straight hair, people want big voluminous hair and that's just one of my pro tips. And then last but not least, my last curly styling product that I've been using, I'm looking to branch out. I wanna use more Miss Jessie's, but I was such a big Diva Curl fan um, when I first started transitioning more into more natural hair care. Um, so anyways, so this is the, what is this? This is, <laughs> this is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. This stuff is no freaking joke. Like, I'm not joking you. This stuff holds your hair all day. That's the upside. It's amazing. It doesn't make my hair feel too crunchy. It has a little bit of a stick to it, but meh, that's okay if, you're, if I want to hold all day or all night. Well, probably and all night. But the downside to this product is that when I need to wash my hair or like detangle it and get in the shower, it is a bitch to detangle my hair after this stuff. I will be 100% honest with you. I gotta be, like I have to pick and choose the days that I use this because it is such an extreme hold um, that my hair almost gets, it like, it like naps around itself, if you, if you know what I'm trying to say. So I love this stuff, especially for a night out, especially for a long day, you know, in the sun, you're gonna be hot, stuff like that. This is amazing. And so this is kind of my like emergency curly hair product like when I need my hair to be perfect forever this is it my only pro tip for this is put it in your hair when it's dry I don't love doing it when it's wet I only do it when it's dry in some of my problem areas it kind of reduces the amount of tangle that I have in my hair uh, when I'm trying to like wash all the product out so that's how I choose to use this and it just it um is really lightweight and it'll sit on top of these products and hold your curls really really well I'm telling you it's like super glue gel without like the hard sticky ramen hair and last but definitely not least I actually almost forgot about this so hopefully I didn't say last but not least with that gel but anyways if for those of you who know me you guys know I am a 110% lush fan like that's most of my skincare um so I couldn't I couldn't not mention a lush hair product hello so this is the rmb hair moisturizer and ugh, the best thing about it ugh, smell gets me freaking every single time that smell mm. so i really like this stuff especially in the drier months um i will put this in my hair when it's dry when it's already dry and big and this makes my hair so shiny it makes like when i walk by i just i just smell so good so this is one of my favorite products for the dryer months it adds that extra lock in moisture to my hair when it's a little bit drier um and i only put this in my hair again when it's already dry this definitely will weigh your hair down if you try to style with it i like to take it with me kind of everywhere because throughout the day if my hair starts to get really i just love it really dry and frizzy I have pulled this out of my purse and used it and it's fixed it so I would definitely recommend this to those of you who if you when your hair does dry down and get really big and beautiful if you do have those dry ends or those dry patches this is amazing to kind of have with you so as far as styling my hair like this is all I do I might scrunch it a little bit with my t-shirt um, but these four products are kind of my holy grails right now. Again, I do want to do a video using more of the Miss Jessie's products because I've only used a couple and I know she has like a million of them. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. For those of you who are kind of new to the air dry, naturally curly kind of game, this is my old t-shirt. <laughs> Actually, I think it's my brother's old t-shirt. And this has become my best friend. So rather than using a towel, because it does tend to aggravate my curls a little bit, um, and almost like pull them apart so they're super frizzy, really funky looking, I will tie my hair up in an old t-shirt and it, it's just softer than your bath towels. You can also buy like a microfiber towel. I know a lot of women do that. Um, but you know, I'm cheap. So if you were wondering like why I have this old dingy t-shirt, um, I'm sure most of you probably know, but if you don't, 
give this a try it's so much easier your curls come out a lot softer and yeah and that kind of ends my styling routine so I will let it air dry I'm not a diffuser because I do think that it makes my hair really really frizzy I will bring my camera and stuff with me because I have to go to Jason's if I'm gonna do a baseball game I'm gonna do a whole bunch of stuff and I'll kind of I'll time it because I guess I've never really timed it um, and let you guys know how long it took for my hair to dry what it looks like after it's dry if I add any other products once it's dry today um, and kind of just give you a small run through once I'm like dressed and ready to go and you know ready to get going all right so it's probably been about almost an hour I think yeah it's probably been about almost an hour so my hair is probably I don't know maybe like 60% of the way dried um, and that's because I've been kind of like moving around and doing stuff if I'm sitting around at home well if I'm sitting around at home it takes forever so this is like 60%. I'm gonna drive to Jason's, get some stuff done, and then we're gonna go to a baseball game. So again, when I'm all done, you'll see it. All right guys, so this is what my hair looks like. I would say like 99% of the way dry. There's still like a little bit kind of towards the back that's slightly, slightly damp, but nothing crazy. Um, so what I normally do is I push my hair up kind of like from the roots like this so that I don't disturb the curls that are on top that are going to be seen. Um, and this is just to give it a little bit more volume. And then I do, you know, some hair flips, Beyonce twists, you know, all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, of course, I will leave all the products that I mentioned earlier down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite curly hair products are. Um, if you have any that I should try, if your hair is similar to mine, if you guys have any questions, just, you know, holla at your girl. Um, stay tuned for probably a couple more curly hair videos as far as, like, my wash day. And I'm going to try out a couple new products that um, I'm going to order some samples of real soon. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, share, whatevs, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.